everyone, welcome to Higan Eruthil with one more day to go. Probably a few hours. So we have from, from my time, it's roughly 12 hours to go or actually more than 12 hours to go. So with that said, I'd like to share with you guys what to expect from the game to, you know, to prepare you more on what is to come tomorrow and also to adjust your game plan probably on how to tackle the game right out of the gate and give you guys a fast start for this game. Okay, first and foremost, if you are free to play, expect this game to favor you. Okay, um, the reason why I'm saying that is that the farming for this game is will you will yield you a lot of this currency, the Dubrio style. So this currency is very very farmable. This is going to be used for your summons as well, and also for let's go to the wish. Okay, so for your wish, guys, um, if you have two banners here, let's say, for example, tomorrow, Gildan and Eluia comes out. The PT system is being shared. So if you, if you, for example, summon on the banner of Gildan, the PT for the PT banner for uh, the, the PT count for Eluia also increases simultaneously. So. For example, the pity is at 120. Let's say, for example, you have here, um, if this is Gilda, you have 120. When you click on Eluia, she will also have 120. So there will be a chance that you will be summoning for Gildan uh, before the pity, then get Eluia in the pity, the the pity redeem. So again, and also the pity does not reset if you get an off banner SSR, which is actually very, very nice. So that is why it favors free to play because it gives free to play players, um, you know, a much more uh, flexibility in terms of getting the SSRs that they like. So again, it, it boils down to, you know, to better decision making and also just want to go back to the roster here. So, so far, I, I'm liking the, the navigation page. They actually added automatically when you, you know, click on the home page, it selects, it, it gives you a selection of where you want to go. Um, moving on to my point earlier that the free to play is favored here because, again, low rarity units or heroes can be used. So, when I started, I used Armand, Roko. I used Queen. Eventually, I went up because I had summoned a lot of, you know, a lot of heroes already. But again, this game allows you to supplement with lower rarity heroes. SRs are one of, you know, the most abundant in this uh, game, which are good, by the way. They're not, you know, pushovers. Um, Roko, I still use Armand because of Gildan. I don't use her. Queen is actually still serviceable, but again, I have a lot already of SSRs. Again, uh, this account, this just a disclaimer, before I purchased Finn yesterday, th there's a banner here for a 50 centavo Finn, if I'm not mistaken. So before that, I was free to play. I got all of these. I haven't gotten any additional, you know, any additional hero since since I paid for Fen. So again, that shows you guys that you have a lot of potential in collecting SSRs as free-to-play players. So again, this favors free-to-play, I tell you. Okay, next up is uh, one question that has been asked uh, with me is the daily pace of the game. The daily pace is going to be 50 to 30 minutes. Ideally, you check, um, you finish your dailies here. Then once you have your dailies there, you may actually claim this one, Adventure. This is your credits. Your credit is being farmed. Um, your credits grow in terms of drop once you get further in the story. So once you're there, 
you eventually will have to do the adventure stages here um for my end i'm done with the molten magma and i think that's the last one as of today so uh once you're done with the stages that requires energy so this is your energy here this is your energy it doesn't have a name it's an energy but anyway this is your energy once you've done it then you go to outland definitely um these are your free stages, meaning they don't require energy. Director so Showdown is your PvP. If you want to clear them fast, there's an auto function um, for, for battle, so you could do this quickly. Deep Maze is also a quick stage to have, so we can quick sweep this every day. Then on the last stage, you can actually play it with zero energy. And... This one, the Mesmerizing Labyrinth, this one opens every... I don't want to confirm this. This one opens... Um, sorry, this one gives you two entries per day. If you don't use it for that day, it accumulates uh, to the next day and so on and so forth. So again, 50 to 30 minutes of your time. I don't think that's bad. Um, if you're actually at work, you could do autoplay if you want. If you're at school, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But again, the game is very considerate in terms of your time. So give it a try, guys. Um, so far, I've had a hang. I have a routine. Also have a routine for yourself. The next one is going to be credits. So this one, the credits, eventually when you'll be starting out, this will be scarce. But once you reach probably the mid-game... This becomes very abundant, I tell you. It's only 1 million uh, and I'm I'm fully I fully upgraded my heroes already including plays, including skill, not not the fully upgrade because I'm still farming some, but again, I cannot use gold if I haven't collected my resources. So again, gold is not not gold credit will eventually accumulate because you're still farming for resources and it accumulates fast okay so next up is an obvious problem which is your energy you only have 166 and the increase is really really small so what i do is i i spend um dobro stall here the first one is going to be 50 but right now it's discounted the second one, uh, sorry, two two fifties. Uh, I'm not sure. If, um, yeah, two fifties or one fifty and one eighty. This is the eighty already. The next one would be one hundred. So as you use it, it um, increases in cost. So my advice is, if you want to spend Dubrio style, uh, at least one or two. If you really want to quicken your pace and if you want to farm as far as possible that is the only answer at this point but again even if um even if energy is very limited definitely you'll be given you know uh, resources for energy in some of you know some some of the gifts some of the rewards but again this is manageable i i did have a problem with it it slowed me down but again not that much okay so energy pvp so going back to outland here we're going to be to director showdown the only concern of mine for director showdown or pvp is uh it's not loading okay sorry so again if you want to attack i don't have anything now i don't want to shop uh i clicked on it by the way so anyway uh what i'm saying is um pvp is not going to you know have a perfect matchmaking in terms of your power you'll not be matched most of the matches that um i had is usually i'm underpowered while the enemy has higher power than me so that is actually kind of a problem they still need to fix this and probably they will in the future uh but i'll leave it at that for now let's go to team 
So as for the team, guys, I'd like to share with you that in team creativity, you have a lot of combinations to, to use. <laughs> Preferably, you have one or two at the front and two at the back or three at the back. So that is a recommended formation. I haven't tried three at front yet because I'm not confident with my front line. I, I actually have Gildan only and Eluya of the front line. So what I've experimented so far is two in the front and two in the back and what the front and what the back. So again, mix and match with different, you know, uh, different combinations of heroes. Some of them have a, you know, complement each other. I'll give you guys an early team comp video tomorrow. I'll uh, update the, the, the old one that I have. So that you could probably, you know, uh, base your team comps on that one. Just a basic one to get you started, not an advanced one. Okay, so also just to point out, ready your team based on the elements. So you'll have matches. Most of the matches will be against wind, especially for the story. So prepare fire, fire, uh, what they call this, fire element heroes because... Fire is going to be it's going to get the upper hand versus wind. So fire is crucial. Uh, light and dark is also crucial because they cancel each other out, but they are neutral with the other elements. So it's nice to have them. You should have at least um, I have two dark here by the way. Uh, I just realized it. You just have to have a water element and wind element as well. So. Uh, primary elements to prepare for would be fire, um, light and dark would be good would be a good addition, but um, also wind because wind is going to sorry sorry um, if you have water water actually counters uh, fire so fire uh, sorry uh, water is good. Then the last one to prioritize would be wind. But definitely you'll be needing wind characters because um, there are a lot of good wind characters. So what I'm saying is make your roster diverse enough that you can swap in and out. Especially if you need a counter against a specific element. Okay. So and another tip guys for your roster. Uh, decide well on your primary team. Uh, what I'm saying is your primary team will, will be composed of your first four who, who you will be investing on for farming because when you invest on them, you won't be able to get the resource that you spent on them. So just be careful who you're going to be focusing on uh, because in the long run, um, they will just be sub- characters or heroes that you will be plugging in based on the stages or the enemies that you'll be facing so that is it um last tip for you guys so let's go to the lobby here little adventure on the side and this one these adventures here i haven't gone through them as you can see, the first clear reward is still there. But that is not our topic. Um, our topic is the recommended power. This is pretty much very accurate. Um, even up to autoplay. Because I've tried autoplaying uh, with little, a little less. Let's say 19,002. You can still, you know, um, you can still clear the stage on auto. Uh, how much if you're going to be on manual. So... This is very accurate. Um, I've done a lot of teams on auto. If you're on point with the recommended power or more, better for auto. If you're if you're going down the recommended power and if you do auto, uh, not so much. Uh, probably a small variance, not not more than five hundred in terms of recommended power. You can still clear the stage with auto, but sometimes the risk is one of your characters will be killed. Um, some of the stages might have a requirement where you have to clear with all characters alive. So please do uh, factor that in as well. So those are initially my, you know, my tips for you guys. Um, these are just um, items wherein, 
you know your transition to playing this game will be smoother uh, with uh, you know us having prior knowledge playing from CBT to soft launch so I hope um, these answer some of your questions again if you have other questions uh, before the launch tomorrow or during launch please feel free to shoot a comment down below in this video because I'd be happy to answer them I'll be playing the whole day uh, creating a lot of videos tomorrow also the whole day so that is it. So take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.